get started. Right, 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 right. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. We have some great energy going. So today's going to be an interactive workshop, so it's not going to be very long. We're just going to get straight to the point of what this workshop is for today, which is you want to show up your best self in 2020. So what does that look like? So let's take a little bit of time, write it down. What does showing up my best self in 2020 looks like in my health? So let's take a little time here, ladies, and write that down. When you write it down, it actually comes to truth. It actually comes to fruition. It actually becomes your life. So when you write it down, and then not only when you write it down, when you actually look at it repeatedly, you know, throughout the day, throughout the weeks, throughout the month, you will be surprised where you're at. So today we are in early spring. You'll be surprised where you are at in, say, March, April, May, June. A lot of people are focusing on where they want to be in June. So and that's a good start for right now. The um, pandemic is starting to have a bit of a control in some areas of the world. And so we're in a good, fortunate place of we can now start experiencing the world again. And so what does that look like for you in 2022 in your overall health? Maybe some of you want to travel. Maybe some of you just want to go to the beach. Maybe some of you just want to just lay out by the pool. So what does that look like? What does that feel? Like? Okay. So today we're going to look at setting goals for 2022. So. My name is Yah Astar. I am with Astar Coaching Services. I'm a certified personal trainer, a nutrition coach, and a change behavior specialist. So what does that make me? A lot of titles, but I have experience to back it up. I've done a marathon, I've done two bodybuilding competitions, I've done half marathons, and I've done a plethora of races. I am now 45, and I've been in the fitness industry for, I would say, at least going on 12, 13 years now. But not the so my experience brings me here but most importantly what brings me here is the shifting of my mindset and so we're going to actually go through talking about the pillar system that i utilize that is really important and so what brings me and qualifies me to stand in front of you today is being able to shift my mind from where i want to be to actually living it out so today we're going to look at step one define the goal what is your goal? Okay, some, go some people have goals of, oh, I wanna lose weight. Okay, all right, that's good. Well, how are you gonna go about losing that goal? So now you gotta create miles, plotting milestones. What are milestones that are you gonna put in front of you in order to lose that weight? Let's be, and we want to be really specific. And we're gonna go into being more specific as we go, out throughout, go throughout this workshop. Now you wanna achieve the results. So you got the goal, maybe thinking about some milestones, and you want to achieve the results. So let's think about it. What is your goal? What is your overall health and wellness goal? And be truthfully honest with yourself. What is my overall health and wellness goal? Weight loss. Weight loss. What health? Oh. Health and wellness. Um, I want to do more raw. Do more raw vegan? Yeah. Very good. Um, weight loss and improve my uh, endurance. Improve endurance. So we got weight loss, improve endurance, and going more raw vegan. Nutrition. So we got nutrition and fitness. Okay, very good. Now, let's look at the three pillar transformation system that I have. This is something that I work with my clients on. And that is first, we got to change our behavior. So let's think about what behaviors that you're currently doing now, that you're saying, okay, I'm gonna to have to change that. What are some of those behaviors that you actually have to change? Don, uh, uh, Desiree. <laughs> My eating habits. Eating habits, Jennifer. Actually, like, putting into action, going to the store, buying the raw food then to consume. Very good, so actually, Put it to action. Put it to action. My, my Monica. Eating. <laughs> Mindful eating. Mindful eating. Very good. Very good. So and that's and so that's the change in behavior. So now let's look at where's your mind around that? 
Where is your mind about being intentional about actually setting the steps into going to the store and buying the products and bring them home, preparing the meals and consuming? Where does your, where do you think that your mind has to be in order to lose weight, in order to do mindful eating? Where do you think your mind has to be? Monica. Constantly on the goal. <laughs> Con mind constantly on the go, and the goal is weight loss. Very good, Jennifer. Yeah. <laughs> Very good, Jennifer. Yeah, just make like when you go, to, when I go to the store, don't look at anything else. Just go in there you're supposed to get, and that's it, and get out. Now, before you even go to the store, where does your mind have to be? The plan, just what you're gonna get. Right. Right, right now. Yeah. Exactly. Young lady, you're right there in the purple. Yeah, you're back there. Mm -hmm. Where do you feel like your mind has to be in order to, you had mentioned earlier, your goal is to lose weight? It, it lose weight and um, increase my endurance. Increase your um, endurance. Increase my cardio endurance. Mm -hmm. um, setting the goal of what I'm going to do, like for instance, endurance. What am I going to do that day? Mm -hmm. um, am I going to do 15? Am I going to do 20? Am I going to do 30? Days? So how do you wrap your mind around that? Write it down. Write it down. Write it down. Write it down. Now, so that's what we're doing. So we, look, we looked at changing the behavior. We looked at shifting the mindset. We, so... And that, and that is it, the shifting the mindset. One, believing that it's possible. Anything and everything is possible. And I'm standing here before you as a breast cancer survivor, letting you know anything and everything is possible. Regardless of what people have said, regardless of what stage of life you are in, regardless of what's going on in your current life, everything is possible. Write it down. Everything is possible. Everything. Everything is possible. All you have to do is shift the way that you think. Now, let's move on to nutrition and supplemental care. Nutrition. Let's go back to you, Jessica. You said, okay, you want to experience more of the raw vegan lifestyle. Right. right. What is the benefit of that for you? Um, getting all your your vitamins, minerals, all that naturally instead of having a supplement from a pill or something like that. Just very good. In your natural food. Very good. Mindful eating, Monica. You had mentioned that nutrition. What would you like your nutrition to look like? What does actually? Let me ask you this: What does nutrition mean to you, Monica? More natural foods, less processed foods, less, sugar, less processed sugar in particular. Less processed sugar. What does it look like to you, Desiree? What is what? What's her, what's her? Nutrition. Nutrition. Mm -hmm. uh, reducing, for me, reducing uh, meats, um, like beef and poultry. Why? Like, takes longer for my body to digest it mm -hmm. and break it down. Um, and it's all the antibiotics and mm -hmm. stuff that's in it. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. So now we looked at less processed sugar. We looked at being able to consume more minerals and vitamins naturally as opposed to taking a pill for it. And we looked at less um, you know, meats. So with that being said, it's important to define what nutrition looks like to you. For everyone, it looks differently. Now, supplemental care. Now, I know we've had a participant mention that, you know, she would like to get the majority of her supplemental care from the foods that she eats. Now, for you ladies, what does supplemental care look like to you? Monica. Uh, multivitamin. Are you taking one? Yes. Very good. Desiree. What does it look like for me? 
supplemental care because you know we're all so you know to be honest yes our body does take in foods and minerals but and that's the whole point of supplemental care supplemental care is for our bodies to receive the additional nutri the additional minerals and vitamins that maybe we are not consuming from our foods so how can you ensure that you are getting the proper amount of supplemental care for yourself for you individually now everyone here is at a maybe at a different stage of life and everyone here is differently so there there may be someone who has deficiency in iron deficiency in vitamin d what have you so how do you go about caring for yourself with supplements I do take a multivitamin um, and calcium. Do you think that's enough, the multivitamin, no, for your stage of life? I mean, I don't take any multivitamins or anything. Well, I mean, I do like the sea moss and stuff, but as far as like a multi, I don't do that. But I would say at least um, even like getting rest. Because if you're not getting a proper rest, yes. your body can really just be chaos. Absolutely. And that is so key to mention, rest. That is key. Because that also is, can be included as a supplemental care, yeah. which is which we can go to go back to, you know, changing our behavior, getting that rest. And then also, too, in supplemental care, it doesn't necessarily have to come from a pill, as she just shared. She uh, consumes SEMA. So what are some other ways that you can supplement your care for your body? And that is so key and so important. Yeah, I want to make sure I get enough rest because I can just go, go, and then it's like, okay. Right, and then your body crashes. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Let's look at fitness and movement. So quite a few of you have mentioned that, okay, weight loss. What are you doing as far as fitness? What are you doing? But not, not only that, because fitness is defined differently by everyone. So, Jennifer, please tell us what does fitness look like to you? What 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 is fitness to you? To me, fitness is just you know just getting up, getting that heart going, and you know just movement. Move, very good movement. Monica, Dan Fit. dancing and incorporating weights. Dancing and incorporating weights, getting the heart rate moving. That's right. Uh, continue, uh, increase my dancing and those are the two things. Very good. Increase your dancing. Now, ladies, we want to lose weight. So we looked at, you know, shift, changing our behavior, definitely getting some more rest. Okay, that's key. Then we looked at, you know, the mindset. You have to be in that state of mind where you be believe in yourself. So, you know, it's really key and it's super important in finding a way to shift your mind. You want to lose weight. And then we looked at nutrition. You know, how are you going to care for your body? What foods are you going to supply your body? Then we looked at supplemental care. We had someone mention that getting enough sleep, making sure you're taking the right amount of supplements to fuel your body. And then we looked at movement, fitness. So... How are you going to move your body? And this is something is so, so key. And I want you to write this down. What are ways I can move my body? Someone said dancing. Someone said exercising. What other ways can you move your body? Walking. 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 Very good. What else? Yoga. Yoga. Very good. Now, rem now remember that moving your body is how you want to move so just because you know i lift weights doesn't mean that's your movement for some they enjoy dancing they can dance all day for hours and hours and hours and hours so let that be their path so now it's really important to find your style of movement for some it could be yoga for some it could be a hit class for some it could be spinning it could be running what have you so it's really important to find your style of movement that's what's going to get you to lose the weight. That's what's going to get you to continually be consistent. So let's write down what are some ways I can move my body according to my style. 
What's my style of movement? Because your style of movement is going to give you that confidence that you need to continue on with the fitness. Shall we wake up? Okay. Desiree, what's your style of movement? My style of movement is dancing. You like dancing? Sprint, sprinting, weightlifting. Why? That just speaks to me. It always has speaks to you. She said it. It speaks to her. So now you have to find what speaks to you. For me, running speak, spoke to me this morning. Who knows, tomorrow, walking may speak to me. It doesn't, it's, the only thing that needs to be remain consistent is that you're moving. So, Let's look at it. We're getting ready to head into a new month. I like to say the year is almost half over, but for some it's just the first quarter. What is it that you want to achieve this month? Jennifer, what is it that you want to achieve in your health and wellness this month? Or have you even given thought to it? Actually, I haven't given thought to it. Thank you, Desiree. <laughs> Monica, anyone? What is it that you want to achieve this month? And then we're going to get real, and then we're going to narrow it down. This month, I want to lose, my, my goal is to lose 10 more pounds. 10 more pounds, good. Jennifer, have you came up with anything? Uh, eat less processed foods. Eat less processed foods. What does that look like? What does processed food look like? Chips. Yeah. Chips? We won't get too personal. We don't have that kind of time. Monica. I'm similar to Desiree. And I'm asking, is it February? You want to lose 10 pounds? Is it February or March? March. <laughs> February over with. <laughs> that's two days. Yes. Yeah, so. Going into a new month. Write it down, ladies. Write it down. Write it down. And, and I will hone in and I will drive in the point. Write it down. Because when you write it down and you look at it, you're more likely to succeed in achieving that goal. Isn't that right, Desiree? Yes. Somebody open the door for her. All right, Jennifer. We're agreed. Well agreed, well agreed. Thank you, thank you. All right, Monica. What is it that, so if you said you want to, want to lose what, 10 pounds, how much? Nine. You want to lose nine, why nine? Why, why is nine the number? Because uh, I know what I look like, nine down, and I have an event in April. Or I would like to. Uh, nine pounds, Jennifer, remind me again what it is that you want to do. Eat less processed food. Eat less processed food, 10 pounds. Very good. That is the goal for this month coming up. We got an event coming up. We've got you uh, eating less chips. And we got you losing 10 pounds. Very good. Why? You got, we already got your why. Why do you want to eat less processed food? Talk to me. Just not to, I mean, I, I just want to, just to make, make the transition better like to do more raw. So if I consume more or less processed and then get more raw foods, it's going to be easier. Very good. We got her why. What's your why, Desiree? Why 10 pounds? Why is that so important? Um, in the, I feel much better. Feel better. Very good. Very good. So we know what we want to achieve for the month. What is your, how are you gonna go about this week? What's your plan for the week? Every single week. We got four weeks. What are going to be your plans for the week? How are you gonna to plan to lose 10 pounds in a matter of a month and break it down weekly? How can you break this down? Let's start with you, Jessica. 
What can you do weekly? Oh, going to the store, buying more whole foods. Buying more whole foods. Very good. How can you break down 10 and nine pounds of the month and break it down weekly? So for example, what will be your weekly goal of weight loss? Was that two and a half, two, two pounds? Two pounds? Two and a half pounds. Two and a half pounds for you? You? So that's logical, but I recognize once I shift my eating, it's going to be more rapid in the beginning mm -hmm. than as I continue on. So that, although that would be the average, I imagine more to come off early. Okay. So it's more to me about setting what am I eating? Like okay. Okay like planning it out for each day. Planning it out. Very good. So planning out what you're going to eat. Very good. So let's go back to that. So like we let's go back to Okay. So we looked at what you're going to we looked at okay weekly. What what behaviors do you feel what behaviors do you have to change in order to lose two and a half pounds in order to eat less processed food in order to eat more, you know, in order to plan your week. What are you going to do weekly as far as your nutrition? How are you going to eat? Are you going to meal prep? Or are you going to have someone, you know, have the chef prepare your meals for you? How are you going to do that? What's your supplemental care going to look like? Are you going to start, take, are you going to start in taking foods, uh, foods and supplements that are going to help you have more energy and help you to burn more fat? What is your fitness going to look like weekly? What are you going to do weekly as far as your fitness? How are you going to move your body weekly? And so, for example, weekly could look like, okay, uh, you know, let's just take Monday through Friday. Uh, three times this week, I'm going to do a hit class. Okay, twice this week, I'm going to do like uh, maybe a fast or intermittent fasting. Or, you know, my behavior is I'm going to go, I'm going to, you know, practice meditation or I'm gonna to go to sleep at a certain time, okay? So that's how you can plan your week out. So we want to make sure we keep these in mind. We wanna make sure we keep the pillar in mind. What behaviors do I have to change in order to get the results that I want? Because that's the whole key. You wanna achieve the results of losing 10 pounds, eating more raw vegan, being more raw vegan, and losing nine pounds. But here we are, we have to plot the milestones. The milestone is weekly. And then we have already defined the goal. Okay, moving forward. We plan weekly. Now, what will you do daily? What is it that you have to do daily in order to achieve the overall monthly goal of losing weight, being more raw vegan, and losing nine pounds? Having the stuff available daily. Having the foods available daily. Having foods available daily. Monica. Yeah, I can't let myself get hungry. So I think it's reviewing also at the end of the day for the next day to make sure I'm set up for success. So do I have my snacks in the bag? Do I have the meal? Like checking again, what was I supposed to be eating for the next day? Um, and that it aligns with my calendar that I can get to those meals as mm -hmm. planned. More preparation. Desiree. For daily? Yeah. What do you have to do daily in order to achieve weekly goals in order to see the results for the month? Plan out, um, for me, plan out what, when I'm going to eat and work out at what time. Very good. So for me, daily, actually, I need to break it down into hourly. Very good. Key word, preparation. How are you going to prepare? daily. Let's write that down. I'll give you a few minutes and coming up with some ways and how to prepare daily. How are you going to prepare daily as far as your behavior? How are you going to prepare daily as far as your nutrition, supplemental care? How are you going to prepare daily as far as your fitness and movement? This is all about being specific. It's not enough to just have a goal. Yeah, I want to lose weight. Okay, how are you going to go about doing that? That's cute. That's real cute, you want to lose weight. Who doesn't? Now, how are you going to go about doing it? Oh, I don't know. Well, that's what this is about. Creating a plan. 
So again, we go back to defining the goal, creating those milestones. We looked at the month, we looked weekly, and then we looked daily. Now, we looked at achieving the results. We looked at the three pillar system. Again, the behavior, nutrition, and the movement. Monthly, what is the goal? Weekly, what are you gonna do? Daily, what are you gonna do? Now, now let, let me ask you something. We looked at the goal, your month goal. How do you feel about achieving your goal for next month? How do I feel about it? Yeah. Um, you said it about five minutes ago, everything is possible. That's how I feel about it. You feel it's possible, why? Because I've um, written down what I need to do, my plan. When are you going to incorporate that plan? When I leave here. When you leave here. How are you going to do that? I wrote it down and go by what I wrote it down. Why is it important for you? I want to improve my health. You want to improve your health. You want to improve your health. Why is improving your health important to you? Health is wealth. Health is wealth. Why do you say that? Because if your health sucks, um, you have to go to the doctors and then you have to pay that money, which is taking money for other things that you could be doing with it. Very good. Connecting with your why. Now, Jennifer. And Joey. Do you believe it's possible? We talked about that. It's possible. But do you believe it? I believe it, yeah. Do you believe it for yourself? Yes. Why? It's just, just how, how they go, focus. Focus, why is it important for you to focus? Because I don't focus. You don't focus. Why it's, don't you focus? It's, me to, it's like my mind is just very quick. It's like, it'll, then I think of something else and then I start to, oh, mm -hmm. forget it. Then I have to like, just constantly remind myself the goal. Constantly, right. what's the goal? What's, what's the goal? Constantly remind yourself, what's the goal? I like it. I like it a lot. Right now. Monica! Talk to me, darling. Um, I think I have a, a different long-term why. Look, yeah. My family members, I have a good chance of living for a long time, and I want good quality of life in those later years. And I'm appreciating it has to start now. It has to start now because you want a good quality of life because Longevity. Hmm. Why does it have to start now? Um, because that that toll on my organs, on my body, mm. you know, that's compounded. One side has heart disease, but the other side is like <laughs> seems to survive everything. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what my lot will be. Um, mm -hmm. I just know I can help improve my odds. How can you help improve your odds, especially if you don't know what your lot is in life? Well, not having extra weight on my joints and you know pressing on my organs, mm -hmm. making sure keeping up with the fitness and uh, muscle tone. When will you start this? I'm with Desiree. Right after you? It has to be. Right, because I'll just keep making excuses about when, when to start it later. Yeah. What do we, how do you feel when you make excuses for yourself? Or how do you feel when your mind is wandering and you're shifting from here to there? How does that feel? And then you don't get the results, and then it's another day, another year gone, another month gone. Lost. You feel lost. Like I know I can do better. You can do better. And you will do better. And so that's what it's about, ladies. Feeling confident through food and fitness. You know, this is your life. And only you have this opportunity to live it at your fullest. But the question is, what does my fullest life look like? Overall health and wellness. 
Remember, this is your defined life. No one else's. No one else's you see in, feed, in a feed, in a, in a story, or a TikTok, or a Snapchat, or whatever. This is, your, this is your defined life. And so how will you define your health? For some, there's confidence. That is very important. So you want to look good. Why not? There's nothing wrong with it. But what's even more important is feeling better. Having the weight off and being able to move your body like you wish. Not having aches and pains not experiencing any type of chronic illness. But what most importantly is showing up your best self. And that's what this is all about. How can I show up my best self in my overall health and wellness? Because when you lose the weight, you feel great and you can show up your best self. Now, next steps. What do you think the next step is? Write out that goal. Write out that goal. Write out that goal. And then how are you going to go about achieving it? Then how are you going to go about achieving it? Very good. How you go about achieving it is book an assessment. That's how you go about achieving it. You're here today. You have these goals. And so maybe you don't know where to start. Maybe you don't know how to start. You don't know when to start, what to do, where to even begin. You go ahead and book a health assessment with me. You book it. It's a 60-minute complimentary consultation. We talk about from going from where you are to where you want to be. But not only that, it is, we dig deep into your why. Why is it so important? Then we look at your lineage. And when I say we look at your lineage, we look at your past. Your past of what was your childhood like? What was it like when you went to college? What was your health and what was your health and wellness like? That has now led you from even when you were a child to where you are today. Because there is a connection. That relationship with food, what is it? What was it like when you were a child? And do you see any correlation today? Why do you stop and start? Why do you continuously stop and start? Stop and start, stop and start. Why? Why are you, you know, so maybe so easily distracted? What is going on in your world? Why are you so stressed? That's where the assessment comes in. You have an opportunity for 60 minutes to dive deep into your why. So key, so important. You have someone there to show you how to go about achieving that goal. You have someone there to help you know when to start. You have someone there to show you where to start. You have someone there to show you how. 60 minutes, that's all it takes. Can you imagine what 60 minutes can do just to even get you jump started? And that's what it's about. That's all it takes is just 60 minutes. Just a session, that's all it is. Not looking for anything, but what I am looking for is to be able to help you get started today and stop waiting. So, any questions, any concerns, discrepancy, disgruntles? All right. Well, that is today's workshop, setting goals for 2022. Showing up your best self. You know, it's all about how you show up for yourself. And it's not just about how you show up for work or for family or friends, but how do you show up for you? 
That is a question I work with my clients on every single day. How can I show up for myself today? Sometimes you just have to say I'm worth it. Sometimes you just have to say no to others and put you first. Sometimes you just got to get out of the bed. Sometimes you just have to take a walk. Sometimes you may have to pray or meditate. Sometimes you just have to drink water. But whatever it is, my question to you, and will always will be, how are you showing up today? Because what it leads to, how you show up for yourself, reverse it back to how are you feeling? Are you feeling better about who you are and what you do? Because you showed up your best self and you're feeling better, it's guaranteed you're going to look good. And that's what it's about. I thank you ladies very much for being a part of this workshop today. But most of all, I thank you for starting today. You have been given the gift of a pen and paper. The most priceless to me is the most priceless gift because you have an opportunity to write it down and to achieve every single thing you can imagine. As high as the sky, as I tell people, it is possible. It is possible to lead that broad vegan lifestyle. It is possible to go beyond losing 10 pounds. It is possible to lead, lead a life full of energy. All right. We thank you. Thank you. Thank you.